Okay, my homework, this is Mr. Dorsey again. Homework for tonight is four problems from the book. Uh, I'm going to do number two from the book just so you have another example. This talks about Ishii, which is a person bought a $6.95 canvas, so they're probably a painter, and eight tubes of paint. Looks like that Ishii is a painter. She spent a total of $24.95. It's the same format as the last problem. There's a total of $24.95 which means that I'm adding something together with something else and I'm getting $24.95. Well, up here I see she paid $6.95 for a canvas. It doesn't say she bought a multiple, multiple canvases or any of that. So I know that she paid $6.95, which is not variable at all. She paid $6.95. And then apparently she's making one painting. I can assume that from this. Eight tubes of paint, so we know she bought eight, but we don't know how much the cost of each tube is. So let's let the cost of each tube be represented by X. Actually, let's do C in this one. I like C for cost, right? So 8 times the cost of each tube is going to give us how much she paid for the paint. And we know that the canvas is 695, and we know that these two add together to be 2495. So let's look at this. We can undo this two-step variable equation by undoing PEMDAS in reverse again. I undo it backwards, I undo addition, subtraction before multiplication, division. Oh, well, I undo addition first by doing subtraction, which is the opposite operation. When I subtract 695 from both sides, I'm left with 8C plus 695 minus 695 is simply 8C. That's the whole reason I did that. Those cancel. And then over here, if I take, well, 95 cents minus 95 cents is 0, 0. Four, 24 minus 6, this would be 14 minus 6 is 8, and 1 minus 0 is 1. I get $18. 8C equals 18. Now I divide both sides by 8. And again, you've got to be able to do that. 18 divided by 8. 18 on the inside, 8 on the outside. 8 goes into 18 two times. 2 times 8 is 16. 8 minus 6 is 2. Let me rewrite this whole thing so we have enough room for it. Try it again. 18 divided by 8. 2 times 8 is 16. 8 minus 6 is 2. Bring down a 0. There's a decimal here. 8 goes into 20. 2 times 16. 4. 8 goes into 40. 5 times. $2.25 is my answer. C equals $2.25. What does that mean? It means that each tube of paint costs $2.25. And the way to check that is if you take 8 times 2.25, that gives you $18, and you add 18 and 6.95, you get 24.95, which is correct. So C equals 2.25 is my final answer.